Hi everyone, I'm Zan from Felon Fair and I am the lead costume designer here at Felon Fair Productions and we wanted to create a video in our series on medieval and fantasy costume building specifically on cloaks. We wanted to do this for several reasons. One, because cloaks are uh, by far one of the most iconic and uh, most kind of defining pieces of a medieval or fantasy uh, costume. The other thing is we have obviously a lot of questions about them that we wanted to answer and there's a lot of good do's and don'ts that we thought we could share about medieval and fantasy cloaks. So thank you guys for watching. If you find this useful, please, you know the drill, please uh, like the video, give us your comments and subscribe to the channel. Now, two quick disclaimers. First of all, we're not making any historical claims. Some of these are more or less historical designs, but we kind of put them all under the, the category of fantasy and you can use them as you find best. Two, we are a costume company. We're a costume design company, but we also have a retail side. You can buy all of these cloaks on Etsy or at felonfair.com uh, or felonfair.shop, rather. Um, so just know that. Yes, we are promoting our own stuff here. We make money when you buy these. And what, it's what allows us to create films and videos and more costumes and design cooler and better stuff. So this is totally self-serving, and we want you guys to know that. So... There are a lot of other companies out there that make cloaks. Lots of them are very good, but we make pretty much the whole spectrum. We make seven different cloaks at Felon Fair, and they pretty much are going to suit every need you have. So we are going to spend time telling you about those because we don't have time to tell you about all the cloaks out there available in the world. So where we're going to start is our hands down most popular cloak, which is our linen ranger cloak. Now, this is a very simple cloak design uh, as they go. But we've done our best to create a really unique and quality garment. Um, this design is nothing innovative. It's nothing super special. But we've found some ways to kind of add some nice little tidbits to it to make it really special and make it really, really um, cool looking. So, there, like I said, we're not reinventing the wheel here. So this is our Medieval Ranger cloak. So first of all, it's made of a... And for all colors except for olive, it's made in a very uh, heavyweight linen. This has an awesome rough texture. Uh, we're one of the very few companies that even sells linen cloaks. Um, so linen, obviously, we chose not be just because it looks cool and we can get great colors in it, but also it's the fabric that most medieval people would have been using, right? Because cotton's a new world thing. Uh, they would have been using linen. So we like that little aspect to it. Um, it's got a cool leather um, tab right here with a um, with a copper rivet that actually holds it on so it's very very secure you can hand wash these in cold water too so uh, that's a great thing uh, this is the old uh, circle ring we actually use a d-ring now and then we have a leather adjustment here and the cool thing about it is you can either tighten it up or kind of let it go a little little longer and so we have various different um, size leather lace that you can use to adjust that so just like, you know, any normal cloak, it just goes over your head and around your neck like that. Um, it can be worn over so that it kind of completely covers like this, or it can be worn back over your shoulders. Now, if you're going to wear it like this, you always kind of want to make sure you adjust it here so it doesn't go back and choke you. A great thing you can see here, we have our waxed canvas ranger cloak. Uh, I always wear like a thick scarf or a thick neck wrap. That really helps um, take some of that pressure and spread out the foursome around your neck. Uh, that's a great, great thing to wear, a great little accessory, so I always wear that. There's kind of no way you're getting around this with this style cloak. Um, another great way is actually if you wear a quiver over your shoulder. That quiver will help keep the cloak tight to your body, and so it takes some of the pressure off from around your neck. But just do know that, off, uh, of course, we have the cool <laughs> hood, um, and we've designed it so it has this cool kind of Assassin's Creed looking poof out here to the side. You can stab people and stuff. But anyway, this is our Linen Ranger cloak. There are three cloaks that we offer in this design. It's the Linen Ranger cloak. We offer a wool variant, which is literally the same cloak, just in a heavyweight. I'm just... <clears throat> it's the same cloak in a heavyweight wool. 
going to put this helmet up. There we go. Can't hold that the whole thing. <laughs> and then we offer it in wax canvas. Wool, literally the same thing. It's heavier weight, better for warmth. It's going to do a little better job at protecting you from the elements, uh, but it is going to be hotter and more expensive. The wax canvas is something we really love. We're the only people that offer, as far as I know, a wax canvas medieval cloak. Now, obviously canvas is cotton, but there's linen. there were linen canvases and stuff too, so don't worry about that. But this is actually wax treated, and the super cool thing about it is um, that it is water repellent. It's not waterproof, but it is water repellent. And what I really like about it, if nothing else, even if you live in the desert, you never plan to get water on it, it makes this really cool patterning um, with the wax, and actually it's almost very camouflage. And then, um, obviously, it's, uh, it, you have the, the water-resistant capability. So that's a really, really cool thing to have if you're going to be outside a lot. If you go hiking, it's basically like a medieval water repellent, kind of like a uh, rain jacket, almost. So that's a really, really cool thing. Same thing everywhere else where you have the leather tabs and the uh, tie. This is actually their, the current tie we're using around the throat. You can also tie it in a bow. You can tie it in a single knot, depending on the way you want to adjust it. But that's all our Ranger cloaks are the same pattern, um, but we just use different materials, and of course, those reflected in different prices. Now, the next thing we have, and this is something a little more innovative, something that we designed. Uh, we really liked a lot of the cloaks from some of the Ridley Scott movies, like Kingdom of Heaven and Robin Hood, and we actually designed our own variant for some of those, and this is what we call our Knight's Cloak. Um, now, this cloak is really cool because your head goes through here. And you can either wear it down like this, so it kind of covers, uh, you can cover your sword, cover your weapons, all that sort of stuff. Or you can wear it up over one shoulder, kind of like that. It's very Roman Caesar looking, whatever. Uh, or you can wear it over um, both, kind of like that. You've got this cool dimension here. It's very noble, very regal. Um, not as useful for running around the woods and survival sort of stuff, but for noble knights, for kings, for emperors, that sort of look. It's really, really cool. Uh, all of our cloaks, all of our linen cloaks at least, we offer standard a what we call the, um, the fringed hem. And what the fringed hem is, and I'll show you uh, what that looks like, is kind of like this. You can see we actually run a stitch along the bottom hem of the cloak to keep it from fraying any further, but we actually wash it after we manufacture it to allow it to fray just a little bit. We've done that for a couple, a couple reasons. One is if you actually hem a... Um, a cloak, it doesn't fall quite as nicely. We go to extra expense to use linen so that it falls. You can see how naturally this kind of this cloak kind of falls and flows behind you. It looks very natural, um, but when you hem it, it creates an extra you know, triple layer of fabric down there that doesn't fall quite as nicely. So that's one reason. The second reason is we like to create outfits that look like they were used, look like they were worn um, out and about. I mean, this is something you know that people would have worn every day, every time they went out. So we wanted a, a bottom hem that looks like it's been frayed, it's been worn a little bit, and it just creates a cool little extra color texture. So all of our cloaks that are linen come with this. It is still hemmed technically because we have a stitch running along it, but a slightly frayed uh, bottom hem, which is really cool looking. So this cloak is one of those cloaks, obviously, that, that offers that. Uh, all of these things that I'm showing uh, you here are either the originals that we first designed or different variants and prototypes. So know that there will be some slight variation to what you get, but what you get will obviously be better because we've continued to perfect these different designs and stuff. Or some of these were the ones that we designed or that are just from like our Etsy store, but we've worn them so they've, uh, or we've added some weathering and stuff for films and all. Uh, all of these clothes we have worn in films, photo shoots, at events. Uh, these are tried and tested designs and they're designs that we really, really like. Now, if you want a similar look to the Knight's Cloak, but don't quite have the budget and don't need the giant flowing gloriousness that is the, uh, the Knight's Cloak, the Wanderer's Cloak is really great. And this is something like a, kind of like a combination of a medieval poncho and a cloak where you still have the cool thing where it kind of comes over here. Uh, it covers kind of the, the top bit. We think this is great for wandering rangers, um, peasants, um, pilgrims, that sort of stuff. People that would need some sort of very simple cloak to protect them from sun and from rain and stuff, but don't want the whole flowing thing. It's also great if you're running around the wood. This is one of the few cloaks that's very easy to wear in combat because it doesn't trip you up and that sort of stuff. You can still access your weapons and all that sort of stuff. Uh, just like the knight's cloak, you can wear it up 
uh, across and you know, around your throat and over your shoulders. And this is so light that you don't really get the neck pressure uh, of any of the other cloaks. Uh, or you can you know, wear it down across one shoulder or something like that. But anyway, it's a really, really uh, great option when it comes to cloaks. Now this is one that is very unique to us and that we designed and we based it somewhat off of the elven cloaks that uh, Elrond had in Lord of the Rings, although we found some ways to kind of make it our own here. And so this is the elven cloak. Now this one is a little tricky to get on, but once it's on, it stays on and you don't have to deal with throat stuff at all. So I'm going to try not embarrass myself as I put this on here in front of the camera. Yeah, it's actually, oh, no, just when I thought I had it. There we go. Um, so you kind of have to put it on and then get it uh, kind of properly suited around your shoulders and stuff. But see, no throat at all. So it actually, it actually stays on very well. You can fight in it very easily. We've worn this over armor with pauldrons and all that sort of stuff. It fits very well. The other cool thing that I really like about this is one, you can either tuck, the, I've got a belt right here. You can either tuck the front portion behind you so it's completely out of the way, nobody can see it. And then you just wrap your belt around and you tie it there. This is the most stable and most sturdy. I really like this one. It's best if you're fighting or something like that. You can wear it loose and open down here. This is, looks very like Roman senator, elven lord in his hall sort of deal. Or you can actually kind of pull it across like you would a, a coat or a caftan and it actually covers kind of the front of you. And then once again, you belt it right there. So this just offers a ton of cool ways to wear it. And like I said, this is probably, besides maybe the Wanderer Cloak, my favorite to fight in just because you um, you don't have to deal with any neck stuff at all. So, although it is a little bit harder to get on, but like you saw me, I got it on in 15 seconds. So, it's a really, really great option. Now, another one that we have is our wool, uh, what we call our Northman Cloak. It's kind of a variant on the Viking Cloak. So, it's in design, it's pretty simple. I mean, it is one of our less expensive cloaks, but it, we use these cool textured, heavyweight wool mix fabrics. And you can wear this in several different ways. One way is, uh, this is kind of the traditional, is where you just kind of have it over one shoulder like this, and then you use the cool leaf brooch we have here to pin it there. Uh, I really like that because it just looks cool, it looks very casual, it looks very barbarian casual, if you will. Uh, the, but you can also have it over kind of evenly, and you can pin it right here in the middle, so that's a different look. Another great thing that you do is if you're going to go into battle in it, you can actually kind of roll it over here a little bit and then pin it up here just like you would. That shortens it by about two feet. And so, you know, you still have, it also doubles the warmth and the heating ability up here. So if it's a cold night, this is a great way to do it. It wasn't going to be helping your legs a whole lot anyway uh, that long, but you now have double thickness to wrap. So you just pin it right up here. Also, it's easy to run, easy to fight, all that sort of stuff. The other great thing is because it's a rectangle, you can use it as a blanket, as a bedroll, you can sleep in it, you can, you know, if somebody's in shock, you can come up and give them the shock blanket sort of thing after, you know, their Viking horde got wiped out and they're all sad about their monasteries getting looted and stuff. It's a great, great little thing to have to comfort, you know, a weeping monk. Uh, anyways, folks, that's a brief overview of some of the cloaks that we offer here at Felon Fair. We hope this was useful. Um, like I said, when you're when you're looking at cloaks, you want to choose good materials. Are you going to, you want to choose material that looks good for one, one that's going to suit your purposes. So for example, with our ranger cloaks, do you want something that's going to protect you from rain, from cold, or that's going to be the lightest weight and have the coolest kind of flowing look to it? So that's going to be, you know, um, wax canvas, wool, or linen. Do you want something that's very regal and noble like our night cape, or maybe something that's more, uh, more a, a, a wanderer, a vagabond, like our wanderer uh, cape? Do you want something that is very obviously more Viking looking or maybe something that is a uh, very elven and high and noble looking that doesn't have any throat stuff you have to deal with? Um, the, you know, the last thing obviously is color. We highly recommend if you want rangers, forest dwelling people, get the browns and tans and that sort of stuff, the olives. Uh, if you want something that's more noble and regal, we offer the great, you saw the yellow and the blue. We have an awesome wine red that I really, really love. Uh, so, you know, take a look at those different materials and choose wisely to find one that fits your context. And the great thing is a, a cloak can really change or define an outfit. So if you take a very simple outfit and even swap out a cloak, you know, a very simple outfit looks di very different with a knight's cloak as it does from a, uh, as it does, would with a ranger cloak, for example. So there's some great flexibility there. So 
buy as many as you want. It helps us and you'll appreciate it. Uh, cloaks are one of the fundamental defining pieces of an outfit. So we've provided a bunch of videos on costume building. I very often recommend kind of your, your least expensive, most budget option. But this is one where both for my sake and for yours, I highly recommend getting a really quality garment here. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. You know the deal, like, comment, subscribe. And also one thing that we love at Felonker is we love seeing our product out in the wild. So send us pictures of what you're doing with it, the films you're working on, the uh, events you're going to. We want to see it because it just fills our hearts. We got into making these things because we are enthusiasts too. We love this whole medieval fantasy thing and we love giving people an opportunity to bring that to life. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day.